trout, the trout, the trout in the towel is the wolf of the fish and they all ran away. The trout is the dog. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on, it's only blood. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. Yeah, I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had a hand in it, you know. <laughs> and in what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, I'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. Ask any man here and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrens. Honor. I'm questioning Norrens' story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrens' family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. I'm his honor is beyond submitted. reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. Indeed. Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. Well, where's my cup at? To my hand. To Rob Stark, the King in the North. The, the King, King in the North. Tomorrow we march on the high quality Rock. gameplay. And House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. This is still Rob's really loud. Onward to Castle Rock. Castle Rock. To the Lannisters. Aye. The North remembers. Aye. I was about to go silent. I, I didn't know. Because I don't fucking watch Game of Thrones. I just picked one. For Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now. 
but I can't expect you to squire forever. No, you can't. I reward your loyalty? What can Ooh. I offer you? You served me well. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for <laughs> now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. I thought Squire. I was gonna pour. Fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So, <laughs> I rank you. You should help me. Why do you think I said no problem? He said to keep it under wraps. So that's exactly what I did. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the law. Huh. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse <laughs> than Norin. See, that's why you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? Who doesn't love bacon? Uh, big farmers. <laughs> Why? Why oh, would anyone serious. say that? At this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. I'm keeping it under wraps. All I know, we could be squires At least for tonight. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. Very easy for you to say. Maybe if my <laughs> uncle Castellan and House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? A while. It's right over there. I'm keeping it under wraps. Not me, I got promoted. <laughs> Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fuck you too. Phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Crossbows, swords, more swords, even more Nothing swords. The quality. They're loading up for Don't war. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Gary. What? What's wrong? I'm I'm not sure either. Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine, they can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Warn Lord Forrester. We Protect the Lord! Good luck. <laughs> Protect the Lord! I don't know who that is, so I don't I don't care about him. Protect the Lord! Oh. I can do it with my D-pad? I just panicked. Because I wasn't prepared at all. I was holding it with one fucking hand. Eh. Saying his name is very distracting if they're 
Uh, what do I do here? Shield, help me. Oh. That was helpful. Looks like he's dead. Lord Foster. Throw the shield. Shoot that one. Shoot that one. Oh, um. Uh, I I got shot in the face. <laughs> I got <laughs> it. It was on it. I tried to stop, then it overshot. Y why? He just ran straight into him. <laughs> Ready, boy. Shoot that one. Whoa. Load. I died so fucking early. Shoot that one. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like R2 is going to be the main thing for this one. That's where you hold up. I was already trying. He got ran the fuck over. I'm trying. Telltale thing. Oh, it's one of these again. Fuck you, too. to kick him. I did nothing there. See? That's why you don't fucking do that. You did that on purpose. You did that shit on purpose. You got him killed. That was your fucking fault. Garrett, did you find Roderick? Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? He, he's gone, my lord. There was nothing I could do. If you didn't call his name, he would have lived. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? Speak up, boy. I can't I, lie. I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon quickly. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to him. Cause he'll later find out that I did leave him. Nice one. Don't just look. Do something. Go, my lord. While there's still time. Oh, what about that weapon, eh? I, I don't even pick up the sword. That's that's nice. Seven hells. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time to <gasps> I can hold him off. You're fucking dead. Give me your sword. Guard this with your life. Thank you. Turn it iron wrath where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. Traitors. You have to go. Welcome to the fucking torch. There's still time, my lord. We can both you. get. Must go. My lord, uh, by the gods, you will obey me. He will remember that. What's Tell the point? Your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. 
Oh, you have to leave. But wait, there's more. no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. All right, only my you uncle. Must do this for your house. Go. Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters. Those fucking foresters. <laughs> What's the point of like having the thing like he will remember that or he, you have get your you have fuck words hi there Well he's gonna fucking die Yes this is Game of Thrones now Oh, episode two just downloaded. <laughs> that quality. That quality. Episode one, iron from ice, or ice from iron. I have a sheep. <clears throat> Forest does man. The dragons are coming. Can I kill the pig for practice? Doesn't seem to be much I can look at. I have a sword in my inventory at least. Oh, there's blood. The sensitivity on that's way too blood. high. You didn't Crash. touch it. It looks like it's from the pig. Mm. Fucking laddie. I don't think there's anything we can do over here. Yeah, there's not. It's That's father's car. We don't care about your father, we care about your uncle. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Like it may be common, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. Fuck I'm you. Going to kill you. That might have been a mistake. The sword's so? heavy. You can it, try if you like. The heavy sword. will feed you to the pigs. Get All right. off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. So Lord this is probably going to be quick time. the new warden of the north. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. Fuck you. <laughs> I, I I was right. No. <laughs> He's dead anyway. I'll have that sword, boy. No, you won't. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, that was...
was very dumb. He just stepped on it. All right, finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. All right, let's let's murder the dudes with the pitchfork or not. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? Uh, you. <sighs> I can get that sword. Nice one. Now I can use the axe. Something's happening. Right here. The sword. I have to get it. Throw the spear. You stabbed my leg, asshole. Oh God! Mercy, please, I beg of you. Fuck no! I, have a family. I don't Imagine give a fuck. Without me, I have no quarrel with you. I don't give no, a fuck. Please. I have one with you. No one you traitor! See you hang for this. That much I promise. You traitor! You raided my land, killed Mother? my pigs, Gary, almost killed. You survived. My father. <laughs> Your sister. Dead. She hid. Is she safe? I tried to stop them. You killed my father. <laughs> well, I'll kill the men who did this. You will. Well, you killed two of them. One with the pitchfork. One with the sword. It's Garrett! It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! <laughs> his son didn't. Garrett! Well, he did get shot in the face once. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! I need to tell him something. For my uncle's ears only. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. Wait, did they kill my, my sister? Condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did Let's indeed. See. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. Indeed. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? <laughs> oh, will I, though? Oh, that fucking sucks. These are dark days, I fear. <laughs> to lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. 
Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now, although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. I only remember bits and pieces. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? Wait, what? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. I'm no longer a scoundrel himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. I imagine I'd be pretty good with a sword. Roderick had already fallen. I don't I know who either. this man is. I don't know if he's my uncle or not. Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all know. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh, I'm not too sure, though. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Let the blood circulate. Wait, who is this guy? Is, is he my uncle? I, I, I don't quite know. Who are you? I wasn't quite paying attention. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. I guess. And you just have a bucket full. Huh. <laughs> oh, I have them now. Nice. Healing herbs. Oh, the clipping. This might help. Yep, I, I'm, I'm taking these for now. <clears throat> he isn't. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. I'm just gonna look. I'm not gonna show him the sword. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. If I can. Let's look at the Lord's chair. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. <coughs> the Ironwood Grove. The Ironwood Grove. Okay, we're done here. Can I walk any faster than I am now? An ironwood shield. Mm. <laughs> the strongest wood in the known world. I can't walk any faster than this. Uh, no, you see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. Let's let's talk. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Uh, who is the new lord? Why do the... Uh, can I leave now? Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Okay. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's <clears throat> still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone which led to more killings of someone's and then, well, here we are. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it either. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. What will, what will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. 
Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... Circumstances... Stop it fucking saying tricky, that. Doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire. If that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Did you know? Is it true? Your family... Yeah, they're dead. Also, how so, am I sorry. connected to any of this? Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... Damn, I went... No, I want to press he square. It was House Forrester's best. No, he got ambushed. He got absolutely fucked. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, Indeed. my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask... Was there anything he said? I'm not gonna tell Any you. last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you. I didn't Garrett. mean to of avoid course. her My question. Lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous. Especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. I, I do want a sword, Garrett, though. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. They we have to be smart. Just Ramsay show them Snow the battlefield. In the week. And what would you have? Yeah. Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. So what's to be done? Oh, what? I, I didn't notice. <sighs> Ultimately. I, I wasn't paying attention, shit. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. What? I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. You cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. 
You're sending him to the wall. I'm thinking of Lord of the Rings. Nothing I'm stupid. Wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution, especially now when the house is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it then. I'm still serving the Lord. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come. I need to find you. the my uncle though. I need to find out where he's at. And I can only tell my uncle. It's just a thing. Where is he Word at, even? Me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday, I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and... And I at Roderick's side, but... It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. Might as well. Everyone's already dead. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. Oh, that's my uncle. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. There Sorry. we go. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Of course not. This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Oh, then it was a good idea. Lord idea. Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon. I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just but know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become okay. a ranger if you can. It will help. <clears throat> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll be strong. I know you will. <clears throat> I think that was his response for every single one of those answers. I'm off. I'm not off. Stuck in this necklace. Be safe. I have so many items. I what I don't have is a fucking sword. What I don't have is any type of fucking protection to arm myself with. In the event, I do get into an altercation. What the fuck is this? Ethan? What's up? Ethan! Wait, is Ethan a little boy? Oh, no. That's him. Well. Still. I couldn't find him. Could you? He's immature. That's what he is. He hides too well, and if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. 
Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I'm here. It's okay. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. Why don't you get mad at? I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. Well, Roderick is kind of but dead. But Mira's <laughs> in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? <coughs> I don't want her to die too. Ryan, uh -huh. she's perfectly safe, I promise you. Are you? I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He won't get hurt. He got hurt by those White Hill men. That's because I didn't know what. No one will tell me what Gareth did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? Huh. And he calls you a milksop. Your milksop? Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me, or... Or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. You milksop. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... Like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher. And he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so Where much was fun. I? But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. That's Can't right. he meet with Duncan? He <laughs> is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's to demanding go. an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. I'm doing what's best for the house. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. 
Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well mm -hmm. said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men, Lord In the hand of a child. No rest. Oh, that's all? Lord Ethan, is it? My no. condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You the bloody amateur. What? No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord. You foresters of shit on think... for generations. I just wanted to calm well, yourself. The I don't know what the no old man is. around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the north now. Roos Bolton is the warden of the north. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Yeah, Count Muffin. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Yes, you Maybe are. If you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? That guy. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? Fighting for justice. in your name. And you are the... Lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I don't go fuck. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Hello there. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering like... your losses and all, but this, this is not over. The answers over, I wanted? Son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. Fuck I'll you. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face I and didn't denied lie. me my justice. Then we'll see who I did that. murdered his law. 
We're in the right, Lord Whitehill. Remember that. He will. <laughs> he will. If I spared him, that your son did well, my lady. He kept his wits while Lord Whitehill lost his temper. A lesser man would have been rattled, but Ethan here held his ground. You were brave, my son, but you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. I'm not Prepare bending shit. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. I'm not bending shit. What the fuck am I getting on my knees for? This ain't no dick sucking us. house. The fuck? Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. <clears throat> Ooh, fruit. Banana. Am I her now? I am. What's in here? There's a coin. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. And now I just keep it in a box. Ethan made this for me. I thought you wanted to read the book. I thought that was a part of this. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. That's everything in the chest. Would you like some grapes? Got any grapes? Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Roderick's dead. I hope to see them all someday. No, uh, you'll you'll have to die. Oh, you could see them right now if you're high enough. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Oh, you're you. Okay, you're that one girl that's somewhere else. That the one girl said. We were in. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Do I have anything else? One moment. Everything has like a heat wave effect over it, that range. Oh, sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. I, I wasn't doing anything anyway. No reason not to. Begging your pardon, my lady, but... You all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. Let's tell the truth. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. What are you even you doing? Work for Lady Marjorie. 
I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Well, I've heard of Cersei. Still don't know who the fuck he is, though. They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. Why are you telling me this? Me. Well, I heard them arguing about House Forrester and House Forrester. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come. There's something we must discuss. How's Forrester? <coughs> From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. I'm doing this so I would have a greater chance of getting her to help me. You'll be fine. I know you will. Can I, can I tell him? You feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. You can do oh, this. Oh, it's the midget. That's the midget who drinks a lot. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Fuck you, too. Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? Oh, no, that's Tyrion. With oh, your no. permission, what the fuck? allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Bow your head, kneel before her. Well? Why the fuck not? She wants. The 
girl she has won. the courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. I'm house going with her once she wants. Northern house loyal to the king. <clears throat> Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. What of it? Is your family loyal to the king? And Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. Yes, your grace. To the one true king. The one true king. Yet she didn't say which. The girl is clever. She only meant... I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. I won't no. stand for impertinence no. from a girl of the north. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. Fuck you. Yes, your grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your legion. I'm, I'm giving her what she wants. Traitors so easily. Is it any wonder what? you're so impertinent to ask which king deserves your loyalty? But if you have any loyalty at all. God damn it. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Absolutely, he is the new lord of this triangle. I don't know, they were all bad. They were no all No doubt she's speechless in your presence, your grace. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. Ah. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new. I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for ah, his armies. I want to restart that. I'm told but there I, are no, I can't. Who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace, and at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask yeah. any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. I already have, though. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. <clears throat> Isn't that Raising the Iron Throne? Question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Why Marjorie here thinking? was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regretted it. I won't judge her. She only follows her heart. She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you find I it I didn't quick. know it. I was too busy with, like, the Loyalty fucking... can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunities. I'm not paying attention. To themselves, pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. I have to. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. I, I would have to. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Exactly. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I, I kind of fucked up, because I wasn't paying attention a lot. Hey there, midget. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. 
Even then he didn't trust Cruz Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the Crown. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. That certainly took courage. I don't even know who so the fuck is King. I don't your follow this shit. For all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. My sister and I have I got- I tried to press she square because I only just read that Charles. option. I take mine in force. I was too busy looking at it. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk no. I'm to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. If we can make an alliance with the crown, I'll consider. Then, well, why not? Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. God damn it, I keep Just trying to careful. pick it up. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. <coughs> Mira, <coughs> how was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather. Difficult. Yeah, it, it didn't. But at least I it's would over say. now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah. <sighs> Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. And over in Martel, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome and quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Well, yeah. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well, which is more than you can say for his mother. I'd marry anyone if it helped my family. Right. Of course. Well, I feel like that was the best option there. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tar and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Moving shit around that I don't know what does. Well, Sarah? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. We're. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. 
Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Will they? Do you agree? Agree. It's hard to please. People are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Oh, good. I'm telling you now. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Uh, uh she on. could say. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought... If a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise, but my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Just I am pushing that very hard. Too hard. Now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Fuck Cersei. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank, Thank you. you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. I did it. And my horse is gone. Nice. Seven elves. Sisters wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. 
I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. Are they taking my horse? What was that? No. My lord? Shh. Listen. See? I need some fuck. There. I didn't move. Hear that? I know I heard something. I'm choosing to stay. I fucking knew it. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. That guy's dead. Bloody hell. Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Mm. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. I want to be like, See, that, if, like my father. If I said, uh, your father was well regarded well, by well, nearly they call me, it took then years it's gonna say that's a deal. Now the These were someone. your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. What happened? I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! What did he do? Lord Ethan. Me. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! Off of his head. We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I have a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. 
Leave the poor man alone! Wow, for this head. Lord That's Ethan, what I'm thinking. I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who starve in come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Stop kicking him. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's Kill him. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it men is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I'm not gonna kill him. I will decide. Send him to Tomorrow. Shake his fingers. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends Take on Take three fingers. No more Lilith. Show it mercy. Will I be punishing an innocent man? So. He stole from us. Huh. If I send him to a wall, to the wall, I don't think he'll survive. I really don't. I can show him mercy and let him back in. Though I think I'm um, taking three fingers is definitely not the right option. And then. I think send them to the wall would kind of have the same response as take three fingers, just with um, a lower anger thing. I'm punishing this man, whatever. I am showing mercy if I do send them to the wall. But I'm not taking three fingers. Let them back into our community and have the consequences of people thinking they can do whatever the fuck or throw him out or I could just keep him in and take his fingers so I think I'm sending him to the wall because I don't want the consequences of X I sentence you to the wall where you will join the night's watch no, please my lord my family without me they'll die that's fine more people went at punishment I showed mercy just not the kind of mercy that some people wanted yeah and I knew they were remember the judgment that was certainly unpleasant but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due not just yourself of course it's a lord's duty so I did it you heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. You should have one advisor above the rest. He wants to be there are chosen. Two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. So I'm going to talk to everyone first.
<laughs> they see it in my hands, they're like, I want this fucking thing. Duncan. First, what are my thoughts on him? I'm thinking Duncan. Like, just as my initial thoughts. Duncan. Yes, my lord. <laughs> I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Dead. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. So, With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role. I'm not picking him yet. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. Okay. Your service, my lord. I'm picking my sentinel later. <laughs> Give praise or two. Okay, that's how it'll work. I'll talk to him. Just see what his thoughts are. Damn it. <laughs> Would you like to be Sentinel? <laughs> oh, wait, no. He is the thing to go. Yeah. So I'll wait a bit. <sighs> I'm that guy. Gift bracer too. Let's talk to him, not look at him. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine two brothers. I carve this to give me strength. And this... So I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but oh, you know, don't you? You honor Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. And then I got him <gasps> stabbed in the neck. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Someday I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. I thought you were hanging for a second. Now, when I say parry, get that sword out! Patty. So come sure. on, come on, what did I say? Swords up, slash right, parry, again. Sword up, swing left, parry. Wrong. I didn't know Sir dogs could hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I'm thinking Duncan. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house. And everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Gareth to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sentinel. He likes to talk. 
but now's the time for action. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. <laughs> Can I talk? No, I can't. I can't talk. To him. Yes, my lord. How are our defenses? What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot ready? No, but they will. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weak. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And, uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Do it like you mean it! Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. At least. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. I must be firm. I'm not a boy anymore, and there is too much at stake. The Lord's work can harden a man. It's true. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. I think... Alright. So... One's clearly the warrior, the other is, is the, um... Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of oh. family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You said you'd get angry sometimes. This would have been a good time to see it. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. True. I'm still leaning towards Duncan. Advice. Thank you. Well... Well, is there anyone else I could talk to? Like, no, I can't talk to them. They're blocked. Yeah. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. 
But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. I'd probably make the same thing. I'm not giving the brace to any of them just yet, and I'm entering. So. Uh, I'm entering to just see if anyone's up there. Probably not, but. I'm giving my braze. Shit. If I need a warrior, I do need Royland. But my preferred way of going about things is like talking through them. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? I, I think I'm going Duncan. What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. No, no, no. Are you holding a sword? My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? <laughs> I think... I'm gonna go with Duncan. I think I'm going Duncan. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. I'm going Duncan. I still have chances. Uh, <laughs> Duncan Donuts. You may sit. Sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland. This house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. <laughs> Many thought Don't that either me. of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Duncan, I have to. I have to. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. I have Tuttle. to. This, this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. <laughs> Broiland will remember that. I will not you. disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no uh, time to waste. Fuck. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. <laughs> 
Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. The bickering. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Maester Ortengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood. No, 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 go back. Go back. No, 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 no. Yes. I didn't mean to click that. No. I don't like that. Play. Thank you. I didn't mean to click that. I don't care. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Indeed I have. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, sentinel. What do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He yeah. cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! What? Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Uh, no, I, I just downloaded it. Sir Roiland yep. is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Oh, fuck Gentlemen, you. please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady doing? Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. I, I, I need to go with my sentinel. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. No. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Like, 
Because the dude said, like, it's foolish to give up the only currency we have to bargain with. Like, that's what... My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance, and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite there him into this hall and meet him face to face, you lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. You just That's can't absurd. hear it. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Because I allowed it, I can be forceful. This. Or I can be generous. Fuck it. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot fuck anymore. It. Shut the Forgive fuck me, up. my lord. But you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. What? Can you get posted? Shit, My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. <laughs> and we need all the way. help we can get. Damn, I want to put square. I was distracted. Damn you. <laughs> Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? Fuck him. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. So, 
If he does come back, we have a little Fine. bit more forces. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet.
I don't know what either of those things did. Marjorie? Indeed. Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Nera, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if NHF. there's anything I can do. NHF. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. I hope you'll let me know. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... <clears throat> My lady, I'll leave you to talk. How is King Joffrey, my lady? <coughs> the king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded ah. me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I'm so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. Ha. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. <clears throat> This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Looks like we're going with plan B. Milady, begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Milady. I hope you saw. I was right before <coughs> about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Oh. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. I'll probably get another talk with him. Where's Sir Royland? The man values pride more than honor. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord! With that. The gates are closed. It 
something wrong with your gate? <laughs> I like this. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? Why the hurry? Are you cold? <laughs> you know I am a bit. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. Fuck you, Till. Thank you, my lord. Fuck. Close it. Drop it. A token for the new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsman. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. What do you think? <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Uh, at least we got kept his men out. Wipe the army you have, Lord Forrester. I know. I know, right? <clears throat> Where'd your men go? I'm not giving you shit. I can have you executed right now if I really wanted to. But that's not an option, unfortunately. Look at that. More foresters. Fuck Lord you, Ramsey. Come out where I can see. Uh -huh. We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? There we go. Everything. Nothing. We'll see. You're a First, jackass. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton. Warden of the North. Shall we? Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. If we have to. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? If we have if to. I don't care about your loyalty. The crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, Ooh. shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? No. That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. What? I... None of those were... Forrester. None of those were good options. It was a forest squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead, one bolt. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. Pretty that much. sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. How about fuck you? What are my Whitehill, options? 
will be taking control of your ironwood from this day forward. No. What? The ironwood? But... That's that our whole... Our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. <laughs> you can't do that. Why not? You know something the Vitals don't? Yeah. We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. It can't be that difficult. The foresters have been tending ironwood for thousands of years. So? The White Hills had ironwood once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next 50 generations? The little lord does have a point. Yes. We'll try this. <laughs> lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood and we'll see who fares better. But my lord. Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble. I'm willing to give away 25%. 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Be yet ready. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan. Don't. Hey. Look at this little forester. You're not. We are going frightened. to war. If you touch him. Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? Or younger? I'm his twin, my lord. Ha. Huh. Ah, oh, twins. But like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. Ha. <laughs> Incest. I forgot about that I part. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I'm you stuttered. Kid. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's... that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let <laughs> her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? No! No! Just... No! But I don't Ethan! want a bowl. No. You just stabbed me in the throat. Not too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. He stabbed me in the fucking throat. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the body of your woman. No! Kill him. If they give you any trouble. You stabbed me in the fucking throat. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the How about no? I don't feel like getting stabbed in the throat. I will give away half. I have to give away half. Or else I fucking die. And I quite don't want to die. <laughs> he stabbed me in the fucking throat. Look at that. More forest. Fuck you too. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. We'll see. First, 
Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? They, oh yeah, he I did remember it when he fucking stabbed me. The crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? I don't give a fuck about that him. That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. It was a Forrester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man... Live. He doesn't he go. His fuck. Right. They killed he his family. knows. His so right. why not? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic Pretty much. army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. I, 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 I like that. You yeah. know something the White Hills done? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The foresters have been tending Ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had Ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little Lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my Lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no... Trouble. Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of twenty men <coughs> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. I'll try to fix something else here. They'll help maintain the king's peace and make sure there's no more trouble. Whitehill men, never. It's oh. already done. That was just the same thing. I think they'll all know. I think they're all just no. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. I, I think this we'll is unavoidable on the path I'm taking. You have no right. This is unavoidable. White Hills have no place here. That's... Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like Damn the queen it. and her brother. What? I'm getting stabbed <laughs> again. Just like the queen and her brother. I'll pick something else. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can oh be my, my highborn wolf. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Do you like Let hunting? Her She's Grab pretty. her. Your Let sister. Her. We go. get along well. You've gone too far, Lord Ramsay. I demand you let her go. I suppose you can stay. Am I, if he says I'm bored. Aren't you the brave lord? Brave? Not bold. Oh, and I'm still getting stabbed. What have you done? I don't want brave, Lord. Brave, not bold. What the fuck do you want? I'm not letting this fucker die. 
I don't want this fucker to die. I refuse. I don't care. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First, this is gonna go on for a while. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I'm not letting this fucker my die. Lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, Alright, what if I just game of pots. Uh, go silent? I expect he'll do the same for us. Well, uh... My father has promised as much to the King. I'll try to go silent because I'll be like, okay, sure. That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen. Either he died. Oh wait, so no, they I take the boy. A solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The ironwood. I'm getting ready to press square. That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. The foresters have been tending ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had ironwood once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want ironwood for the next five years? Or the next 50 generations. The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. Ugh. I I said nothing. So it's like okay. You have a man you trust? My son. So that's happening no matter what. We'll lead the garrison. You have no right. Wait till I get no place stabbed here. again. Lads, yeah, do take make the boy. Please, I'm not getting my sister raped. Don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Leave my sister alone! I have an idea. You'll come with me. Okay. You can be my highborn ward. I'm Go getting him stabbed. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty. 
your sister. We'd get along well. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? Yeah, I'm getting stabbed. Ethan! <laughs> no! What have you done? No! But I don't Ethan! want brave lord. Oh. Oh. Oh, too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy of your wolf. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody Fuck you. fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let it go! Let it go! Stop that! Don't be quiet! Stop it! Let me go! Do something! Ethan? Oh, oh. My son. He's dead. Fuck it. Was that the end? Yeah, it was. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan, too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Okay, that, that fucking sucked. From iron... Or iron to... From ice. So... I, I did... I did all that. Yeah. Yeah. I sent Eric to the wall. I picked Duncan as a troll. I met and see okay. <sighs> Fuck. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Or, or not. No. Alright. So, I already have, um, episode 2 download, downloaded. Three is downloading now. I just started it. And that fucking sucked. Well, I'm gonna end the stream and uh, wait a little bit before I start the next one. Right, so that's <sighs> that's gonna happen. Fucking long ass stream. Well. <laughs>